Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. I am on a video roll today. I'm feeling good. Three videos down today. Yeah, keep it going. But, anyways, today we're going to do a video that is a very, very popular requested video by a lot of my viewers. And I'm just going to do it because you guys want to see me do it, and I'm going to do it. So, today we're going to talk about LA two way style plugins, compressors, and what they're useful for, with a little bit about them, how to use them, and you know, why people like them so popular and yeah, why, why you guys want me to do a video on them so i'm gonna do it anyway because i like the compression i want to talk about it. so with that being said if you can't follow me on instagram twitter and soundcloud if you don't mind if it's different tv also subscribe to the channel because we're trying to hit 100k this year and yeah check out my website miss different tv.com with the lowest kids on the planet so with that being said here we are back once again, we're going to jump right to Studio One because, hey, I like Studio One and it's dope. So we're going to talk about the LA two-way style of compressor. Now, a lot of people have asked me to use the Waze version, but unfortunately, I don't own the Waze version. Even though I do own a bunch of Waze plugins, as you can see, I own a bunch of Waze plugins. I don't have that one yet. I probably will get it when it's on sale, but all LA two-way style plugins are fundamentally the same. And just to prove that, you know, if you see, this is the one by UAD. Here is the one by Native Instruments. And then also here is the one by Persona. So as you can see, they are all fundamentally the same. You have a gain and a peak reduction, and that's really it. Now, let's just talk a little bit about the LA-2A. Now, the LA-2A is a tube-style optical compressor. Now, when it first came out, it was a just a godsend of a compressor. It's like one of the best vocal compressors out there for the ease of use, simple, the simple layout and usage and just how it sounded because I say it was a tube base, which is what, you know, what people like. And also optical compressors are a little bit different. They're a little bit more smooth and gentler because they work off a light sensor inside of the um, actual compressor. I'm not going to get too technical, but there's a little photo cell or something like that inside of it. And as the light flashes, depending on how hot the signal is going into the compressor, a it captures that light, how much it is, and it compresses based off how hot the light or is how bright the light is shining and that's when you get the word optical compressor because optical eye optics i mean it's seeing something to trigger it so that's why it has a very smooth compressor because not it's not really fast it doesn't clamp on really fast it's just a nice gentle smooth attack and release and that's what i like about this compressor because you don't have to worry about any of that now there are versions that do allow you to work with the attack and release but we're just looking at the la2a style of compressor so here it is right here. Like I said, very simple and a very versatile compressor, even though it has two knobs. Like I said, you have the gain knob, which basically is how loud the signal is, more or less gain. And you have peak reduction. That's how much compression you actually want. And depending on how hard you compress it, depending on the settings inside of it, they, they automatically change depending on the real version. But, I, you know, uh, you just drive the, uh, the peak reduction in there and you get more compression or less compression and you get your result. So... Yeah, that's really it. Now, what is this great for? It's great for vocals. It's great for bass guitars, 808s, sub bass, because like I said, it's a very smooth and just compressed. Like I said, if you want something that's compressed, but not overly compressed, this is probably the best way to go. So I'm going to just do a little example right now. So I'm going to spit some some dope lyrics for you guys, um, because, you know, that's what we do on this channel. So let's go ahead and let me just freestyle some real quick. And then we'll just compress it so you can see how it works and why it's such a useful plug-in or useful compressor. So, yeah, your boy Slim back up on the mic. About to kill a mom. Hungry. Got an appetite. I'm going to eat it up. And I ain't going to spit it out. They be hating on me. Why? Because the way I am. That shit was whack as fuck. But I'm going to still spit it for y'all. I'm just off the top of the dome, but I can't rap it all. But I still made money because I kind of ball. I'm on top of the game and y'all just kind of fall. Boy, that was whack as fuck. Go ahead a minute, leave your comments. What you think about the film? <laughs> what do you think about that little freestyle? It was whack as hell. I wasn't really trying, but you know, you get the idea. So, as you can see, I got some pretty, pretty clean signal going. You know, I look like I said this this sure SM fifty B, which I might fifty seven uh, fifty eight B SM seven B. What the hell, man? SM seven B microphone is really good, and you say it's very consistent. But, you know, even though, you know, I got that, you still see that I have some peaks here and there, some quiet parts. So with the LA-2, it will be able just to smoothen that out and just, you know, make it sound a little bit better. So we're going to head and loop that, play it back. Yeah, your boy Slim back up on the mic. About to kill a mom, hungry, got an appetite. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and engage this LA two way, and let's just get some compression going in. So we play it. And like I said, I'm gonna mess with the gain reduction right here, which is basically the compression, how much compression is in there, and then I'm gonna do some makeup gain. You will be able to hear the difference. So I'm gonna eat it up, and I ain't gonna spit it out. They be hating on me. Why? Cause the way I am. That shit was whack as fuck, but I'm gonna still spit it for y'all. I'm just off the top of the dome, but I can't rap at all. But I still made money, cause I kinda ball. I'm on top of the game, and y'all just kinda fall. Yeah, your boy Slim back up on the mic. About to kill a mom, hungry, got an appetite. I'ma eat it up, and I ain't gonna spit it out. They be hating on me. Why? Cause the way I. As you see, it's it does its job. Very simple. I just brought up the compression. Got how much game reduction I need, and then brought it back up, and that's easy that. And just for example, let's see if I can render this out real quick. Let's see, we'll render this mix down section. Yeah, bounce the new track, and then there you go. Now, as you can see, and then we need to unmute this, of course. I don't think it when I did it just bounced it and do what I want to do. Ain't do what I want to do. Ain't do what I want to do. Let's see. Mix down, selection, boom. There we go. I don't know why I did it in stereo. That's whack. But as you can see, if I move this, bring this away, boom. It will bring it up. As you can see, the peaks and stuff are a lot more. See how the peaks are all over the place here? This is just kind of a little bit smoother. I didn't add too much compression, but as you can see right up in here, is that is exactly. You can see how it is. Smoothing those peaks out, just brought them closer together. Very similar. Still some peaks that get out there because I say it's not a fast attack. It's a very like medium to slow attack. So some peaks will get through. That's why you know stuff that that's not really transient heavy like drums and snares like that. Um, really do good. And the vocals very dynamic. So this is a great way to just kind of level it out. Because I say LA two A stands for level amplifier. Should have mentioned that, but I didn't. But it's a leveling amplifier. So it's basically really good at leveling out stuff and making it sound smooth. So yeah, I mean. There's really not much you can say about this style of compressor except the fact that it's just a very smooth, gentle, easy to use compressor. And if you have a LA two way plugin such as Waves, the UAD one, or the Native Instruments, or you know a stock one, because I think Personas is the only place that come with a stock one. I think Logic has a stock one as well. Or if you find a free one off the internet, because there are a bunch of good free ones out there, I do have to mention that. So you just search up LA two way plugins free. And there's a bunch of good ones out there. Like I said, no matter which way you go with it, it's a very good compressor. I use it all the time for my first compressor. Like, I use the LA-2A as my first compressor to kind of just, you know, control the peaks and stuff like that before I EQ and then another compressor, which gives me my, um, my overall tone because that's what i'm doing on my voice right now as you're hearing i just have an la two-way just kind of closing down on it just kind of keep it in checked and then like i said i'm using an extra compressor after that to give it the kind of in, in your face type of sound but yeah the la2 style plugin is a very good plugin i think everybody should use it um very versatile like i said vocals brass pianos bass you know sub bass 808s stuff like that it's not transient heavy this is a perfect compressor. Now, I will be doing vocal tutorials where I will be using this, and you'll see me use uh, LA 2 a style compressors a lot. So just so you know, when you start seeing you know what this you know, kind of compressor is about and why it's so popular and why it's so widely set out and why people you know who have real ones love them and why people who have the plugins love them as well. So hopefully that's guy that explains what an LA 2 a is and how to use it and what it's good for. And I hope to see you guys use it as well. Let me know what you guys think about LA 2A style plugins. What's your favorite style of compressor? Um, like I said, I love the LA 2A style, also the 1176 and the Distressor style compressors. What is your favorite and what do you use for your day-to-day -day recordings or mixing or whatever? I'd like to know in the comments below. So with that being said, if you like this video, thumb it up. If you don't like this video, you can always thumb it down because you know you can be a hater if you want to. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, you know who it is. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.